Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So this video is for is on OSPF in Packet Tracer. So for this we have created a network in which we have a machine and a router. So we have two routers. In total we have three networks. So this network is my 192.168.1.0. This network is 10.0.0.0 and this network is 192.168.2.0 now again i have already configured the network so you can see its ip configuration is already set this machine ip is already set okay and i have set the routers fast ethernet port configured and serial port configured okay now same for same for this network so so same for this router as we can see this is unable and this is unable now whenever you work with ospf what we need to do is again a question is why we require ospf is because ospf provides you the shortest path right so for this you have to type some commands okay now commands you can type commands by going to the global configuration mode and to get to go into global class, uh, configuration mode it's like a router config mode so here you have to type some ospf commands now to type ospf commands is not that difficult so we'll see some of the commands now so first you have to configure router so to configure or to, to provide ospf you require we require to type a command called as router ospf and you have to provide the process id so process id is one let's suppose and then after this you need to specify the network so network it's 192.168.1.0 and yeah uh, here you have to provide something called as wildcard so you can see in uh, in rip when you work with rip rip is it works with class full addressing that's why we, we don't need to specify the class or submit mask but in uh, ospf works with class less in which you have to provide your mask now here we don't provide mask we provide something called as uh, wildcards okay you can see uh, we have wildcard bits okay so wildcard bits are like inverse or complements of your mask so wildcard will be to 0 0.0.0.255 and then you have to provide the area id which is area 0 okay now then we have to provide the network which is 10.0.0.0 and then here it will be 0 0.255.255.255 and area again zero once you complete this you have to say exit now after this after after doing this you have to just now this is configured now you have to configure oh i have done some mistakes so this is not we have to change something now. We have to change. We have to change. We have to change. Uh, we have done some mistake. So go to your setting. Since we have made mistake, it is your configuration. Yeah. Again, you will do the same command. So we have to say uh, conf t. Again, you will type the same command, which is router ospf it's one and then it's network now network we are working with router one right so this network knows about 182 dot dot two dot zero earlier i mentioned one dot zero that that was a mistake so zero dot zero dot zero dot two fifty five and area is zero and next network is network ten dot zero dot zero dot zero it will be area zero. Oh, I missed uh, wildcard. So zero dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five. 
okay that's it then you have to say exit now you have to do the same thing for router 0 so go to your CLI and go to configuration mode and here you have to type a command called as router it's OSPF1 uh, then you have to provide network it knows about 192.168.1.1 with your wildcard 0, 0 0.255 and area 0. Second network it knows about is 10.0.0.0 and your mask is 0 0.255 a wildcard is 255.255 and it will be area 0. Okay. Now you can see that these two routers are configured. Okay. Now to check we, we can pick a packet from this machine to this machine so it's successful right now what the amazing part about this network is what we can do is let's let's move this network downside so let me just create some space here okay now what if if I create one more router here so if I create one more router here and let me connect this so if I connect this router in this way and this way now this is my 10 network okay so this is my uh, wait, yeah, this is my 10 network this is uh, let me just give the copy paste now I want this to be as network 10 this will I create as net uh, network 11 and this will be my network 12 okay now you have to configure this router right again you have to focus here clock is on clock is here clock is upside so for this you have to configure serial 3 slash 0 so go to your configuration mode 3 slash 0 and this is 11.10.0.2 mask is this you have to set the clock we will set clock as 64 and say on okay now you have to do you have to configure now you have to configure this router configuration serial 2 slash 0 and it will be 11.10.0.3 mask and in this side we don't have a clock so clock not set and on so in this side when you talk about this serial 3 slash 0 this is 0 0.2 that is 0 0.3 okay so now I don't know why my packet tracer is not responding I'm doing malfunctioning I guess yeah now on this so we have to focus on this port now 3 slash 0 and 3 slash 0 this side we have clock so serial 3 slash 0 this is 12.10.0.2 and this is your mask since we have a clock we will set clock as 64 and then say on ok now there is something wrong with my packet tracer then on this side go to configuration mode and see serial 3 slash 0 and 0 dot 3 and and say on and then close now you can see we have configured this but we have to we have to make this router work okay so this router should specify the number of ips it knows so go to cli go to configuration mode and say router ospf1 the network is knows is two networks so that network one it's not one it's 12.0.0.0 and 0 .0, .0, .0, 0 255 because we are doing the class a right so and you have to mention the area second network is node is about 11 okay, so 11 that's it now again since yeah stop behave like windows now close it okay now in this you have to again we have to add one more network here right so again router 
OS PF since this router knows about one more network now that is 11 so 11 so network network is 11.0.0.0 and it's 0.0.0. .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0 255.255.255 and you have to specify area 0 that's it now you have to do the same thing for I guess OSPF is configured the router that's why it's taking so much of time so so yeah it's configured now close hit close buddy wasting my time packet tracer yeah so in this again you have to configure so exit and router ospf1 as this net this router also knows about one more network which is 12.0.0.0 0.255.255.255 area 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 0 and that's it once you complete all this, you just have to close your router now. Okay, it's done. Now, as you can see, if you connect from this machine to this router, it's still working, right? It's because we have configured it. From this machine to this router, it's, it's working. Now, what if I use simulation mode? So, from simulation mode, from this machine to this machine if you capture if you capture so captured captured again should it it is using the shortest path right we have two paths we can either go from this route also so what if what if if i disable this link if i disable this link that means this link is your serial 2 slash 0 let me go to configuration and in t serial 2 slash 0 let me just disable it okay put it off now now in this case now in this case let me let me create uh, let me get one more packet from this machine to this machine since this port is disabled let me let me see the path so from this machine to this machine now it going upwards because this link is disabled right so this is how it, it finds the shortest path so OSPF is much better than your RIP. So this is what about OSPF. So if you have any doubts, please comment and please do subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much.